You have been collecting coins in your piggy bank at home for the past couple of months and you recently realized that this is not the way how you're gonna get rich. You decide to invest that money. Maybe you go to the stock market, it's right at the end of October Street by the way, or you just decide to buy and sell a foreign currency, euros for instance. Your master plan is genius. You don't want to make a lot of transactions, you just want to buy when it's cheap, sell when it's expensive and make your money on the difference. You wake up the next morning and find that euros are 317 forints. Now what? Is that cheap so you should buy? Is that expensive so you should sell or you just should wait because it's right in between? How could you find out? You decide to educate yourself. You collect all the historical data on uh, exchange rates, you read a book on how to model currency prices and you come up with your best model and I bet it looks something like that. For those of you who believe that's the landscape of Himalaya, it's not, it's exchange <laughs> rates. You still have no idea whether the price is going to go up or down, but now you see how the price tends to behave. They tend to wiggle around a lot and it looks like it's totally random. Now this is the place where I might be able to help you. In my research, I study how to maximize processes, uh, processes which have a lot of randomness, a lot of uncertainty involved. In your case, you want to maximize your income, the money you make, and the question is, what are these optimal limits, these optimal barriers? What exact price of the euro is low enough so you should buy? What price is high enough so you should sell? Well, this is such a natural question. How come nobody answered it like 50 years ago, you might ask? Well, mathematically speaking, the strategy you came up with has a very unpleasant feature. We say it's not continuous. What does this mean? It means that these decisions you make, buy, sell, or wait, are very strong, very different decisions. Like the big life decisions, whether to have a baby or not, it's either one baby or zero babies. You cannot have like 20% of a baby or half of a baby. <laughs> yeah. So in my PhD thesis, I um, present a way how to um, handle this discrepancy, this minor mathematical inconvenience, which makes this question hard, and how to actually find these optimal limits, these optimal barriers for trading. And as for the end, I have to make a confession to you, I lied. This is actually the Himalaya. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. <laughs>